Central Field in Philadelphia, PA. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Jacksonville Jaguars taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. Now Jamal Agnew from his end zone. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. On play action, Lawrence. This one complete to Christian Kirk. And he's going to be wrangled down quickly after the catch up at the 45-yard line. 17 yards on the game's opening play and a quick first down. They'll try the jet sweep with Kirk. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Lawrence a short throw to Ingram and he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds call it a gain of six on the play and now we've got a third down and three coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first Lawrence on third down forced out to his left and Lawrence going to smartly hit the deck here as he is able to pick up the first down in the process. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. Flush to his right. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Now Lawrence. Touchdown! Calvin Ridley, a 24-yard touchdown. And the Jags will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. McManus's point after is good, and that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And this will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And they finally get to him out near midfield, but he's all the way across the 45 to the 46. Well, you gave up the first touchdown of the game, but how about the response? Big time return. Now it's their chance to try and put points on the board. But first down, Hurts. Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. Devon Hamilton coming right up the gut. Gets in there for a loss of nine. And so much for that great field position to start the game. Now they're way behind the sticks. Can't wait to see what their second down call is going to look like now. Here's Hurts to throw. And that one into the hands of Brown downfield. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A gain of 32 that time. It's early, but announcer cliche alert here. Big players make big plays. Should I say in big games too? Ah, oh, what the heck. And this defense, they're going to have to find some way to slow him down as this game goes on. Because when this combination is going good, they can tear your secondary apart. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big touchdown, Eagles. Dallas got it. 28 yards. And the Eagles 
respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. It used to be that if you were a big wide receiver and the coaches wanted to make you a tight end, you resisted the move. Now it's almost a glamour position because they have the mismatch advantage. Are you going to cover them with a linebacker? They're probably faster. A defensive back, they're going to be bigger. Tight end is the new big time position. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And they got to be pleased with this. He brings it all the way up to the 40-yard line. Well, that return gives him a golden opportunity to go out in front. How will the defense respond after giving up that type of a return? The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. They'll run with ETN. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. These two teams all tied after one. With the score tied, 7 to 7. The Jags with the football to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and 10. Another toe for ETN. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four and second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. From the 37, they work on second and six. Here's Lawrence to throw. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field, it's popped up in the air. I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. That's caught on the left side by Kirk. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. It's a gain of 26 as they pick up the first down of the process. From the gun, it's Lawrence. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. Call it a gain of 3 on the play, and it's second down. Again, it's Lawrence. Got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Calvin Ridley. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Jaguars have taken the lead. Well, only the two catches for him thus far, CD, but both of them have resulted in touchdowns. And I think he's on the bench right now, Brandon, smiling at his position coach and telling him, all those times you talked to us about efficiency, I'm living it right now. Extra point from McManus is good, and that makes the score 14-7. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. 
After that last score we just saw, now 14-7, so a chance to march down the field here, try to tie this football game. Hurts throw here into the hands of Jones. He's across midfield, and finally brought down at the 38. A big play there for Philly. 41 yards. That was awfully nice. Hit him in stride and off he went. It was almost like the ball hitting him. It was like him receiving a baton and he was running the anchor leg in a relay race. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Hurts. And the Jags get to him as down he goes. Devon Hamilton. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. So a nice bounce back there defensively after giving up the big play. Yeah, you can either get down on yourself or you can get motivated. And that time, they dropped him for a loss. So I would say that they got motivated and made the play. Call it a gain of five that time. They'll be left with a third down and about nine to go. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. to seven. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Hurts sets up to throw it. And this is going to be incomplete. Maybe a little over anxious in the pocket there. He just didn't look comfortable on that throw. No, he didn't because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery. And I think you might have had it right. Wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield and almost felt like he wanted to pull that one back. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And the Jaguars are going to take possession here on the turnover on downs. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. They'll start on the ground, ETN. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. The defense was dialed into the pass. They overlooked the draw play. And how often do we talk about the oldies are still goodies? Because that draw play comes straight from Coach Paul Brown's playbook, going all the way back to the original Cleveland Browns. And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. He completes it to Ridley. Breaks the tackle, now an alley. Touchdown, Jaguars! Calvin Ridley on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Jaguars are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. McManus now for the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive, and they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. And that is incomplete. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? On third down, here comes Swift. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 
Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Being chased out left. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they've looked lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Here's second and ten. Swift going to try up the middle. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Throwing his hurts. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. Here's Jake Elliott. Career long, by the way, for him, 61 yards. And this will be spotted on the other side of the field. It's a 61-yard attempt. The kick by Elliott is good. Well, Charles, the NFL record is 66 yards. That was five shy of that, but only a handful of guys have ever connected from 61 or deeper, and he can add his name to the list. Yeah, more and more guys are trying it. That doesn't mean the success rate has gone up. That is a long kick. Guaranteed, when he turns on his phone after the game, a ton of congratulatory texts will be awaiting him. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. At their own 21 yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And they're on the short end of the scoreboard here. Charles, what adjustments, if any, do you think they need to make for the second half? We're paraphrasing the gold medal hockey winning coach Herb Brooks. I just say you continue to play your game. Throw the ball. They had success doing it in the first half. So make sure you keep getting the ball to your playmakers. A little bit more to the perimeter, perhaps. But above all, play your game. Second down, here's Hertz. And this is caught, it's Brown. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Just his second catch of the game so far, this one moves the chains. And that's one of the better plays we've seen this offense put together so far. They haven't been able to get on track much at all. But listen, they're only down a couple of scores with the rest of this quarter, and the entire fourth remaining, so stranger things have happened. On first and ten, it's Hurts. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. Dropped for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. I'd say it's not panic time yet, but let's be honest about it. Empty possession here, not what you're looking for when you're down a couple of scores. Absolutely not. Trying to start the second half off on the right foot. Unfortunately, going to give the ball up. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here. Third and long. They'll set up a throw. 
Escaping the pressure right. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. He certainly isn't looking at the scoreboard out there because, to me, all he's concerned about is analyzing the field and making most of the time left in this game. Deficit's still there, but he's starting to hit them with some big plays. On first and ten, it's Swift. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. It'll go as a loss of three on the sack, and it brings up third down. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Hurts fumbles it. Offensively lucky there, able to keep the football, but now fourth down, so they'll have to boot it away. I do think, though, they're going to look at this as a positive. One, they recovered the fumble, so they retained possession. But two, being able to punt it changes field position for them. Imagine if that turnover takes place there. Now your defense has to go onto the field and try and hold. Instead, they get a little breathing room. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. Play action. It's Lawrence. He'll get this out to the flat for ETN. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. And this will be a Jaguars first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Lawrence's throw into the hands of Kirk. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Three quarters in the books. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 right at the 40. Here's Lawrence. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. Well, it looked like a quick hitter, a three-step drop. But when it's not there, what do you do? He elects to try and escape through the mass of bodies up the middle, and he does so and picks up positive yardage. On second down, here's Lawrence. Throw right side is going to be caught by Kirk. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 14. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. 
These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. I like how he hung in there and went through his progressions, but eventually his internal clock went off and told him it was time to make a run for it, and he ends up sliding down with a solid gain. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Now Lawrence. Eluding the diving for the end zone and the ball's knocked out and it's picked up by the Eagles Then a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back Well, that takeaway partner right there That's a combination of coaching Execution and absolute belief because a lot of guys will look at the scoreboard and go ah This thing's pretty well done, but they still thought to themselves if we could make a play we give our team We give our teammates a chance to win it and that's exactly what they did From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Just need a yard here, second and one. They're going to look to throw. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And able to get it here to about the 16-yard line. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Here's Hurts to throw. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Going for the knockout blow right there. I think if I'm up two scores, I'd be worried about an interception, but playing this way is what got him this lead. So you may as well ride it out to the end. They'll try again here, second and 10. From the gun, it's Hurts. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. He's to the 10, and he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Now McManus to tack on the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. Makes the score Jaguars 28, Eagles 10. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee and they'll take over at the 25. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Well, probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the writing on the wall a while back because one team was clearly better than the other in this one. And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew who was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Play action. Here's Hertz. 
And the Jags get to him as down he goes. Josh Allen picks up his second sack of the afternoon. But one thing I do know, these guys on defense, they don't want this game to end. They're winning by multiple touchdowns. They've shut down the opposing quarterback in a big way, and they're still picking up sacks as we approach the end of this one. After the sack on first down, Hurts. He'll find Swift out of the backfield. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. On second down, Swift. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Looking to throw. One last shot at the end zone. And that is going to officially draw the curtain on this one as the last throw intercepted. And the Jags are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Well, I mean, field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here, maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. That one looks like he'll throw here. Aaron it out, looking for Ridley. And this will be caught at the 30. And he takes it in for the score on the game's final play, so it doesn't affect the outcome.